dear viewers greetings in this video we are going to see about the two dimensional or 2d gel electrophoresis in short form it is called as 2d ge the contents of this video includes an introduction about 2d electrophoresis or 2d gel electrophoresis principle of 2d gel electrophoresis procedure for 2d gel electrophoresis applications of 2d gel electrophoresis advantages of 2d gel electrophoresis and limitations of 2d gel electrophoresis two dimensional gel electrophoresis 2d gel electrophoresis is a powerful analytical technique used to separate complex mixtures of proteins based on two distinct properties first one is isoelectric point and the second one is molecular weight two dimensional gel electrophoresis is the combination of two high resolution electrophoretic procedures they are isoelectric focusing and sds phage 2d gel electrophoresis was first independently introduced by two scientists namely o farrell and close in 1975 for the detection quantification and analysis of proteins 2d gel electrophoresis provides a high resolution approach to analyze the proteome and enabling the detailed study of protein expression modification and interaction in various biological samples 2d gel electrophoresis is widely used in biochemistry and proteomics research to detect and analyze many known and unknown proteins such as membrane proteins ribosomal proteins or proteins of other organisms principle of 2d gel electrophoresis two dimensional gel electrophoresis is the combination of two high resolution electrophoretic procedures they are isoelectric focusing and sds polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis uh, the main aim of this 2d gel electrophoresis is to provide much greater resolution than either procedure alone in the first dimension gel or 1d solubilized protein are separated according to their isoelectric point by isoelectric focusing in the second dimension or 2d proteins are separated based on their sizes or molecular weight through the sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis procedure for two dimensional gel electrophoresis there are seven steps in 2d gel electrophoresis step 1 is protein extraction step 2 protein quantification step 3 sample preparation step 4 isoelectric focusing or 1d gel electrophoresis step 5 sds phage or 2d gel electrophoresis step 6 staining and visualization and step 7 image analysis and data interpretation the first step of two dimensional gel electrophoresis is protein extraction the step 1 protein extraction have two steps one is cell or tissue lysis and the second one is clarification in cell or tissue lysis proteins are extracted from cells or tissues using a lysis buffer that typically contains detergents salts and protease inhibitors to prevent protein degradation the buffer conditions should be optimized to solubilize a wide range of proteins while preserving their structure in the second step clarification the lysate is centrifuged to remove insoluble debris and leaving a clear supernatant containing the solubilized proteins the second step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is protein quantification it is the quantitative assay the concentration of the protein in the extract is determined by using assays such as barfoot bekin conic acid or lauris assay accurate quantifications ensures that a consistent amount of protein is loaded onto the gel the third step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is sample preparation the sample preparation step have two stages one is sample dilution and another one is reduction and alkylation in sample dilution the protein sample is diluted in an appropriate buffer often containing ampholytes and other components to ensure optimal protein separation ampholytes are the components which establish the ph gradient in the isoelectric focusing gel and second 
at the reduction in alkylation, the proteins may be reduced with agents like beta mercaptoethanol or dithio 3 etiol to break disulfide bonds and alkylate it with iodoacetamide to prevent reformation of disulfide bonds. The fourth step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is isoelectric focusing. This isoelectric focusing step have three stages. The first stage is isoelectric focusing gel casting. The second stage is sample application. And the third stage is electrophoresis. In the isoelectric focusing gel casting stage, an isoelectric focusing gel is prepared with a pH gradient. This gradient is typically created using ampholytes or other pH gradient system incorporated into a gel matrix. The gel is cast between two glass plates to create a thin uniform slab. The second stage is sample application. Protein samples are applied to the gel using a sample applicator or a focusing cup. The sample is then focused along the pH gradient. And the third stage is electrophoresis. An electric field is applied causing proteins to migrate through the gel until they reach the isoelectric point where their net charge is zero. This step makes this step may take several hours depending on the size of the gel and the complexity of the sample. The fifth step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is SDS phase. This step have three stages. The first stage is STS phase gel preparation and the second stage is overlaying the isoelectric force gel and the third step is electrophoresis. In the first step STS phase gel preparation, a polyacrylamide gel is preferred for STS phase with the concentration of acrylamide varying depending on the size range of protein to be analyzed. The gel typically consists of a stacking gel and a separating gel. The second stage is overlaying the isoelectric force gel. The equilibrated isoelectric force gel is placed on the top of the STS, plate, STS page gel. The interface between the two gels must be carefully aligned to ensure effective transfer of proteins. And the third stage is electrophoresis. An electric field is applied causing proteins to migrate through the polyacrylamide gel. Smaller proteins travel faster and further through the gel matrix while large proteins move more slowly resulting in separation based on the size. The sixth step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is staining and visualization. This step explains both staining and destaining. First staining, after electrophoresis, the gel is stained to visualize the separated proteins. Common staining methods includes Kumasi blue and silver staining. Kumasi blue staining is a staining uh, which binds to the protein and provides a blue coloration. And silver staining offers higher sensitivity for detecting low abundance proteins. Next to the destaining step, the excess stain is removed from the gel to enhance the contrast of the protein bands. Destaining is achieved by washing the gel in a destaining solution which removes background staining and highlights the protein spots alone. The seventh step of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis is image analysis and data interpretation. This step contains three stages. First stage is gel imaging. Second stage is image analysis and the third stage is data interpretation or spot identification. In gel imaging, the stained gel is scanned or photographed using a gel imaging system. This produces a digital image of the gel which is used for further analysis. In image analysis, advanced image analysis software is used to detect, quantify and analyze the protein spot on the gel. The software compares the spots between different gels or conditions to identify changes in protein expression or modification. The third stage is data interpretation or spot identification. Protein spots are identified using databases and tools that match spot patterns with known protein sequences. This may involve mass spectro spectrometry for detailed protein identification and characterization. 
This figure shows the protein extracted and separated by two dimensional gel electrophoresis and stained with Kumasi blue. Applications of 2D gel electrophoresis. Two dimensional gel electrophoresis has extensive application for detecting alterations in protein expression levels caused by diseases or drug interventions. 2D gel electrophoresis serves as a valuable tool for studying post-translational modifications like oxidation or phosphorylation and identifying protein isoforms. 2D gel electrophoresis detects post- and co-translational modifications that cannot be even predicted from the genome sequencing. 2D gel electrophoresis is a powerful methodology to separate thousands of proteins at once which makes it an exceptional method for analyzing complex protein mixtures. Two-dimensional gel electrophoresis is a gel-based technique widely utilized in proteomic studies. In biotech research, 2D gel electrophoresis is extensively used for the quantification and analysis of proteins. 2D gel electrophoresis is a powerful technique for studying protein composition modifications and interactions. Finally, 2D gel electrophoresis offers high resolution, reproducibility and the ability to analyze complex protein extracts. Advantages of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. The first advantage is high resolution. By separating proteins in two dimensions, 2D gel electrophoresis achieves a superior resolution compared to one-dimensional techniques. This allows for the analysis of complex protein mixtures and the detection of subtle differences in protein expressions and modifications. The second advantage is comprehensive protein profiling. The technique enables the identification of a wide range of proteins from a single sample and providing a comprehensive overview of the proteome. The third advantage is post-translational modification analysis. Two-dimensional gel electrophoresis is particularly effective in studying post-translational modifications such as phosphorylation and glycosylation due to its sensitivity in detecting differences in isoelectric point. The fourth and final advantage of the two-dimensional electrophoresis is quantitative analysis. 2D gel electrophoresis can be coupled with image analysis software to quantify protein expression levels and facilitating comparative studies between different conditions or treatments. Finally, limitations of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. There are four limitations which includes complexity and variability, limited detection of low abundance proteins, resolution limitations and time consuming. The first limitation is complexity and variability. The technique is complex and requires meticulous handling of samples which can lead to variability in results. Factors such as gel preparation, sample loading and running conditions must be carefully controlled. The second limitation is limited detection of low abundance proteins. Proteins present in low abundance may be masked by more abundant proteins, making them difficult to detect and analyze. The third limitation is resolution limitations. While two-dimensional gel electrophoresis provides high resolution, it may not fully resolve all proteins, especially those with similar isoelectric point or molecular weight. The fourth and final limitation is time consuming. The process is labor intensive and time consuming and involving multiple steps and requiring significant expertise. Dear viewers, that's all about the two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.